some warning just came up here. One of the many safety features That's that, right, the blind spot. that are great here on uh, this new Pathfinder. And we're in a California Pacific Coast Highway, number one. One of the best, um, be most beautiful roads in the country. But unfortunately, today we have the marine layer over, and there's like some fires south of us, and like, so we cannot see much <laughs> out there, but it's still nice. So we're driving the um, refreshed 2017 the Nissan Pathfinder that you've been working on it for quite some time, right? I have been several years now. We've been putting a lot of work into this. So what? What the end result? What? What has improved in this one? Because this generation, this is the fourth generation. This is the fourth generation Pathfinder. This this debuted only 2013, right? 2013 was when this one launched. Yeah. So this is a mid-cycle refresh, but like a, a very very deep. A very refresh. extensive mid-cycle. Yeah, so it's one of the most extensive ones Nissan's done for a mid-life cycle. So, okay, let's go through the list at least sure. <laughs> to the, the most sure. important ones. All right, so we have the new exterior styling, uh, definitely a more aggressive styling. We've got the new powertrain, so a brand new engine. Uh, we have retuned all of the uh, dynamic handling features of it. We've got an increased towing capacity. We were able to increase it a thousand, so we have 6,000 pound towing capacity. Okay. We have the new information technology system with the new Nissan Connect in it. Uh, new safety features such as forward emergency braking, uh, the convenience of intelligent cruise control. Which we are experiencing right now and that's why we can more or less pay more attention to the conversation and that's less to right. the road. Because this is really helping us because as you saw at the very beginning we have the one that big bus that was ahead of us now, is ahead of us now was right. right on my blind spot so this was telling me so that helps right. a lot. That's right. So let's start with the styling because I actually own a, a 94, so that would have been the first generation okay. Pathfinder, right? Yeah, if the first model year was 86. 86 to 94, so, more, yeah, yeah, more or less, right. or maybe second generation, but it was like that, generation. more square, more rugged, like more, uh, I don't know what, what the, the right word is for it, but this is much more, I mean, it has evolved into a way that it's very stylish, I mean, yeah. like, obviously more modern. You had to find a balance. Yeah. So. It's, it has to take care of your everyday adventure of dropping kids off to school or um, going on a dinner date or you know just, just your everyday going to the grocery store, going to Lowe's. But then also families want to take it on their adventures on the weekend or um, even uh, folks who like to do adventure camping or whatnot, not necessarily have to have kids. Yeah. But So we had to find a balance between the tough and rugged SUV that you felt very capable of getting out and getting it dirty, but also something classy enough to take it to dinner at night, night on the town. Yeah. This model, I mean, this is the platinum model, so it's like the top grade. This is the platinum model. I mean, yes, you can see, I mean, it's beautiful leather. Leather appointed. Yeah, um, and like all, everything is like so yeah. clean and open and, and nice. Yep, you have the, the new double pad grain uh, trim. Yeah, we have the double sunroof, uh -huh. which is kind of different from some others that I've seen, because some others open till here, uh -huh. or maybe the second row, but this one is open from the end of, almost the end of the middle of the second row and then yeah. all the way to the third row. We want to make sure that third row even is included in it and when, you know, especially yeah, with children, they love getting, you know, to see the open sky or, yeah. and it just gives it a very open, airy feeling. And and not only that, but like the actual third seat is usable. It I is mean, usable. Like for, for humans. It is usable, <laughs> that's right. So the second row seat actually has just over five inches of travel. It's about five and a half inches of travel. Yeah. You can move it forward or, or backwards. So if, if you have someone in the third row, you can move that second row forward a little bit to give the third row passengers some room, leg room. But yeah, it's very usable back there. Yeah. And it has that feature that you can even, if you have a baby seat on that, that's right. on, on both sides or it works or? So that feature is only on the right hand side. So overall it's called easy flex seating system and that's where you can slide it forward and aft. Yeah. And then the passenger side, which we tend to like to do the curb side and the safe side for loading and unloading. If you had a, a car seat in that seat, you can actually move it forward and it tilts up so that someone can get in the third row without having to take the car seat out. Yeah. And at some of, I mean, I guess all, all of these improvements uh, come from um, your interaction with previous old current owners and all that. Yeah. And that's where your your job as product planner comes in. It's become so important, right? Because, yeah. I mean, as they were telling us in the presentation, you don't build the cars for you, or even though in your case you in have my two case, kids. I, that's, yeah. right. that's right. So you're like the focus, the own focus group. And my own focus group. But yeah, we actually have to, you know, we do multiple focus groups. We listen to, um, 
face-to-face -face customers, but then also we obviously do our research and you know dig into websites and just look at what customers are feeding back, um, media reviews. We we pull information from wherever we can to really hear what our customer needs. Yeah. What are we satisfied with? What can we improve on? And also competition because this segment is exploding. It I mean, is. there's like models some um, like from everybody and like really good good Absolutely. good uh, options out there. Yeah. We what we consider our main com um, competitors are. Uh, Toyota Highlander, the Honda Pilot, and the Ford Explorer are main competitors, and we look at secondary competitors, you know, the Durango, the Traverse. And that's based on, obviously, size, capability, or how, uh, price? We actually look at, like, cross-shopping, so okay. we can see who's cross-shopping. Uh, we look at, you know, target prices, just a number of different things. But sometimes consumers are might be thinking of one vehicle and they, like, see something completely different, and, like, because, I mean, there are options that are so varied now that, that people can right. jump from segment to segment technically in the industry segment to segment right yeah, and that's where you know you always try to find that unique feature like for us it's our easy flex seating system yeah. it's unique for us and it's very and it's something i never thought about um until you know having children or having the car seat in there or, and if you watch you'll see a lot of children who will climb over the second row to get to the third row because there's <laughs> no easy way to get back <laughs> no. there and that's where we had the solution with the latch and glide system is you can still move that seat forward without having to take the car seat out and get in the third row yeah and uh, speaking of the very back part of the car that the style has changed also and you also have the technology to to open it automatically with the yeah it's a motion activated lift yeah. gate just a quick kick of the foot under the bumper area and it'll automatically open for you and you can close it the same way so the powertrain you said is a new is it completely new engine or uh, it's a new 3.5 liter v6 engine um, the components are 50 percent new to pathfinder so some of the components are carryover from other engines and some of the components are brand new for the engine itself so it is a new engine for pathfinder and what's the horsepower now horsepower is 284 yeah so you increase the horsepower a lot and the tow towing cap uh, capacity to 6,000 is it 6,000 so the towing capacity increased by a thousand Wow, that's a lot. And then still get better mileage? Right, so we were able to increase all of our power and, uh, you know, even the, the styling was a little, you know, the thought of being an aerodynamic and all that. When you're beefing something up and taking some of that smoothness yeah. out, you're kind of worried about that. So the engineering really did a great job in balancing all the changes and, you know, where one change might add, they would take it away somewhere else. So they balanced it all out and we're actually able to maintain our, our uh, gas mileage from current year so we're still at uh, 20 in the city 27 highway and 23 combined that's pretty amazing I mean with all the uh, all the, the, the new capabilities yes. that, that you added to it yeah. and then um, the safety features that are amazing I mean like again mm -hmm. we're using intelligent cruise control so we can set the distance from the vehicle that is ahead of us right. and it's gonna keep us pretty much safe and the automatic uh, braking system yes. also it's, it's uh -huh, the ford emergency braking system that's standard or is that uh that's available that's, that's an option. option so with those systems i always recommend for people who have seen my reviews uh -huh. to really take advantage of that because that i mean might seem something that you might think about paying for it or not but it really can make a it, huge it absolutely difference right it's invaluable yeah and like for example well there, there will be a situation in which, I mean, now we're with the intelligent cruise control, so the car will actually will stop, right? Yeah, so it, it maintains that distance, but as far as actual stopping, that emergency braking is what will really break in a very quick manner as needed. Yeah, so even though, I mean, there's still a lot of, a lot of external factors mm -hmm. out there, it's pretty difficult to get into an accident when you add this technology to That's the car, right? right? It, will, it will be able to react quicker than you can. So, yeah, because, you know, as you know, it just takes a split second with the traffic just to stop immediately. And so it's always detecting that for you. And so many distractions that we have inside So many. <laughs> we have to be paying attention. That's but right. For, for example, now, we're still going at 55 miles an hour, like, respecting the speed limit. And the car's ahead of us, just keeping the distance. So we're pretty safe. We, we have to the longest distance, right. distance setting, so... I mean, we can keep going and almost let it go, right? Correct. It's going to maintain that distance. And then if they slow down, it'll automatically slow down with that. And 
these technologies are new to Pathfinder? They're, they're available between the previous model? So the forward emergency model? braking, the intelligent cruise control, and the moving object detection are all new for 2017 Pathfinder. So we're going to keep uh, enjoying driving here. Um, we're going back to our base here for the Nissan driving adventure, which uh, we saw the new Armada, mm -hmm. the new Titan, in different variants because like it's a new big family yes, of Titans. That's right, right. you see a couple of new. We yeah. finally got to see the, the single cab. The single last cab night. that that's we right. saw last night. And now we're going back and we're going to do a little bit of roading so to testing the other part of, of, of the, the Right, you'll get to see some off-roading for the Pathfinder. Um, and it really it helps see the true capabilities. You know, a lot of times it gets, um, it's the family vehicle or it's the, you know, going to the grocery store or dropping the kids off. But we wanted to really show the true capability of the family adventure on the weekend. So, you know, getting it off on the dirt path and getting into um, some more, you know, sandy areas and such. So, yeah, to really show you the capability. Okay, and we're gonna go and do that even though it's not the weekend for us. It's Tuesday, right. but we're gonna jo enjoy our weekend That's activity right. here. That's right. Okay, let's go there now. Alright. Whoa! Oh no. Oh my god. So, Barbara, we thought we were going to an adventure, an off-road adventure, and we got another <laughs> kind of adventure. We had an on-road adventure. An on-road adventure. We got rear-ended by a Jeep Wrangler, and we, it's very funny because we were just talking about how all cars should have like the... The forward emergency brake. Exactly, and all these yes. amazing safety features that this car has now. And what happened, the car behind us, we were going into to an intersection. There was traffic back to back, and I didn't want to stand in the middle of the intersection blocking it. So I, I stopped before it, even though the line was green. And then this guy come from behind him, boom. He hit us pretty hard. I, I don't know that he was going that fast, maybe what, 20, 25 Something miles, like maybe? Well, we felt it, obviously. Definitely felt it. <laughs> yeah. We didn't know airbags or anything. And um, when we got out of the car, we were surprised to see how much damage they had yeah. in his car. Especially when I saw that he had all that gear on the front of his Jeep. I thought, yeah. oh, I don't even want to see the back end. Yeah, he had uh, one of those uh, jacks, like, Big like a metal, a big part. metal yeah. bumper with the hit, the ascension. Uh, so he hit, he lights. broke, he broke one of his lights. It um, bent it the bent fender. The metal, yeah. and then we go back see the pathfinder, and uh, like yes, we see a little cosmetic, a little spot, and uh, like the car hold up perfectly. Yep. So the I mean, just still working. Everything is good, other than yeah. When a uh, when we come to these events and they tell us about these great safety systems, they say, please don't try them. <laughs> well, we didn't try to didn't try to do it, but we were in a situation in which we experienced it. So right. I guess congratulations and good work. Thank you. <laughs> like the, the good well. materials that are back there in the car, and like I mean, it was a small accident, nothing really serious. No, we're no injuries or anything, right. but. All parties involved were okay. Exactly. So, I mean, another part of the Nissan adventure here in California. That's right. I think we're well, now we're going to still adventure. try to go to do the off-roading, okay? That's right. <laughs> program that yes, was included originally ranch. yeah made it back the ranch that's right so great experience overall i mean and again like we don't never want to try airbags <laughs> uh, precept uh tensioners we're glad and, to know they work yeah they but held us very exactly well so i mean Head it's part of the we needed it. part of the of the job i guess and like again another another example of uh, how great this car is it's uh it's done and like so that's please right. don't get into an accident even if it's as small as ours that's right <laughs> so but um thank you again for for all the information and sharing absolutely. the time with me in the car absolutely i have to say i really enjoyed it <laughs> i'm glad you enjoyed <laughs> even it even with the accident okay <laughs> great thank you everyone oh you're welcome